Hello and welcome to module 2.5, Color Psychology, how color can be used to influence your customers. So in this module, we're going to have a breakdown of various colors and how they can actually influence the feelings and emotions of your customers or anybody in fact who's looking at that specific color. So let's talk about colors and branding and how they're related. Apart from making sure you delight your customers at every opportunity, when it comes to building a memorable brand, you'll need a color scheme that reflects the personality of your brand and fits in with your story. Color is uh, it's definitely a vital component of your visual branding strategy and definitely shouldn't be overlooked. Your color scheme is either working for you or working against you and understanding how the different colors have different connotations is a step in the right direction towards improving your visual brand identity and connecting with your ideal customers. When used strategically, color is a powerful communication tool. Color works on a subconscious level and has the power to influence feelings and emotions either positively or negatively. Intentional use of color can help you tell your brand story better by tapping into specific emotions or feelings associated with the transformation or the outcome that your product or service provides. So let's look at some reasons why a lot of people fail when choosing colors for their brands. So number one is the most common, they pick their favorite colors. Number two, they pick too many colors. And number three, they use colors that are inappropriate for their brand voice. Now, what determines whether a color is inappropriate or not really depends on the business you are running and the type of customer you're trying to attract and obviously the type the feeling that you want your customer to have when they are experiencing your product or using your product or if they they buy into your services what do they walk away with what do you want them to feel at the end of the day so those are what really will influence what sorts of colors you should use and would it really influence um, whether or not a color is inappropriate or not let's look at the most popular colors we're not going to go into every single shade of color but the um, the most popular colors that um, people use as their main brand colors so we're going to get into that right now so let's start with red so red generally represents passion excitement warmth energy lots of different uh, connotations the main dominant connotation is physicality but one of the most well-known connotations for red is danger that's why you see it in traffic lights or warning signs a lot of the time warning signs are in red as well for that reason and here are a few brands that use red as their brand color and uh, you can actually download these slides at the end of this module and uh, refer back to all of them so let's look at orange so orange represents youthfulness impulse freedom confidence warmth excitement fun and abundance and its dominant connotation is freedom and adventure well-known brands that use orange within their visual branding include amazon puffin orange easyjet and nickelodeon just to name a few let's look at yellow one of my favorite colors yellow represents optimism vision clarity creativity confidence fun and abundance these are some of the brands that use yellow as their main color let's look at green green is the color that represents balance health safety stability peace clarity and restoration so it's it's dominant connotation is balance and growth so you do see a lot of um, health and well-being brands using the color green here are some companies that use that color in their um, color scheme. Blue is uh, another one of my favorite colors and it represents intelligence, communication, efficiency, logic, openness. It's uh, quite a masculine color. It's calming, it stabilizes and its dominant connotation represents intellect, trust and security. And here are some brands that use blue as their main color. The color purple represents depth, spirituality, luxury, wealth, fantasy, truth, and imagination. Here are some brands that use the color purple. The 
color pink represents femininity tranquility intuition love warmth nurturing care sexuality and excitement and the dominant connotation with the color pink is feminine energy here are some brands that use pink as their main color the color black represents power sophistication credibility and lots more to do with wealth prestige it's a very classic color it oozes power and power and sophistication are two of its most dominant connotations gray is a color of balance timelessness and stability its uh, dominant connotation is practicality and stability white represents mainly innocence purity simplicity and sophistication and here are some logos which incorporate black white and gray so these are monochrome logos and they're quite uh, high-end or luxury brands so if you're creating a luxury brand if you want to be more exclusive then you would probably use black white and gray as your brand colors so that lets people know that it's something that's quite exclusive anything that's black black and white uh, generally tends to be um, on the uh, more of the upmarket scale of things so there you have it that's a breakdown of various colors and their uh, the emotional connections that they have on a subconscious level so now that you know what sorts of colors can arouse specific emotions that you can make better judgments on what sorts of colors to use for your communication so with that being said uh, make sure you download the the slides you can actually download the reference cards with the different emotional meanings attached to those colors and with that being said that's all i have for you in this module and i'll see you inside the next module thanks for listening and bye for now